Hey y'all, welcome back to another reading vlog. This is for Crossroads of Twilight, book 10 in the Wheel of Time. Hey y'all, it's Kate from the Literary Apothecary um, and welcome back to my channel. Of the Books My Boyfriend Gave Me series. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I started this yesterday and yes, I'm still getting through that long prologue. It's like two plus hours long. Typical Wheel of Time prologue, of course. Um, yes, I know that some are longer, some are shorter. You just got to deal with it if you want to get through the series. So far in this prologue, we've got a lot of Loghain, the false dragon, and now we're up with, um, Gawain, and he's trying to track down both his sister and Elaine and trying to balance the two needs in his head. Um, he's with some red Aes Sedai, and he's soon to learn of orders from Elida. Um, so this ought to be interesting to see how he balances all of these things going on. Um, he's getting orders from Elida, who is, of course, on the opposite side of things as Egwene, who is the other um, Amarlin C. And then, of course, we have Elaine there. Uh, well, not there, but in this picture of Gawain. And so It'll be interesting to see how he balances all of these going forward. I'm up through chapter 5 now of this book, and so far it's a very melancholy feeling book. We've got a lot of grief going on and a lot of worry and angst. Um, so, Loyal has found out that Lord Dobrain has been murdered, um, and in the other crew... Matt has found out that Tylan has been murdered. They're both grieving in their own ways. Matt is... It's interesting to see Matt grieving like this because, you know, in previous books, he's had to grow fond of Tylan. He didn't want her at first. He didn't like her. He tried to refuse everything that she wanted to give him. Um, but now that she's been murdered, he is just beside himself. Um, and then, of course, we go to Perrin, who is still on the hunt for Fael, and he's having nightmares now of what could have happened to her, and it's just a very melancholy feel type of book so far, um, which is a nice change than some of the other books that we've had, definitely different, and, um... Feels like this one moves faster than some of the others. Like, I only just started this yesterday, I think it was. Maybe the day before that. And I'm already 200 pages in up to chapter 6. So I feel like that is huge progress for a Robert Jordan Wheel of Time book. Usually it takes a lot longer to get to that point. So I am looking forward to seeing kind of where all of this melancholy leads. Um... So, I need to start this check-in with a couple confessions. So, first, um, I thought I had this ready to go last week to put up for y'all, and I didn't. So, I'm hoping to get this up tomorrow, which for you guys is Monday, when you're seeing this, um... So that's confession number one. Of course, I fell behind as I have been for way too long. Um, second confession, this book, well, not the book itself. Um, my brain right now is having a hard time focusing on this book. I feel like I've been drifting off a lot while I've been both physically and reading this and listening to the audiobook. Um, usually when I have this problem, it's just when it's the audiobook, but it's just a physical book too. I don't know if it's the book itself or my brain or a combination of the both. Um, but I'm all the way up to chapter 23 now, and I haven't really had a lot to check in about because I've kind of zoned out a lot. Um, I've gone back and reread some chapters that I completely forgot reading. Um, so I'm up to chapter 23, as I said, and 
um, some things to check in about. Um, we are with the Aes Sedai at the White Tower now. Of course, we know Egwene is kind of on the outskirts of Tarvalin, waiting to um, attack, essentially. Um, Elida has essentially approached Alvarin and said, I know you are a black Aja. I don't have the proof yet for it, so nothing's going to happen right this second. But you better watch yourself because I know you're a black Aja. Um, and we know that, you know, there's a lot of whispering going on amongst all the different Ajas. Um, and Elaine has her own council of essentially one of each color Aja. I think just like the Amarlin, um, just like Elida has maybe, if I remember correctly. Um, and that's kind of where we're at now. So tension is starting to build it amongst all the Aes Sedai and I'm ready to see Egwene in action here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to check in about now. Um, I will probably have one more check-in before I put this up for you all. So, um, stay tuned for that. So, I realized that I never finished my reading vlog for, um, Crossroads of Twilight. This book, I zoned out for a lot of it. My hair is doing something really crazy right now. Um, I'm trying something different and up close it looks crazy. So, I'm trying, so anyways... Um, Crossroads of Twilight, I think I gave this one three stars. I zoned out during a lot, like I said, um, but there were parts that I really did enjoy. There were parts that we got some information on. I especially enjoyed the beginning and the ending, which sounds really cliche, but I feel like that's where the most happened in this book. And so I've already started in on New Spring, which is actually the prequel to the Wheel of Time series where I've been told by Leslie and Stacy that this is the best time to read that. Um, and so I am, this takes us back to Lan and Moraine um, before Eye of the World starts. They're younger and I can't wait to see them. I'm in chapter two right now and I am loving it. It's a great palette cleanser based on the last couple books that felt a little bit heavier. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where this book goes. So I'm already behind on my reading vlog for New Spring. Uh, I think it's called New Spring. Yeah, New Spring. The Wheel of Time prequel. I am all the way up to chapter 13 now because I listened to a bunch day while I was cleaning and working out. I absolutely love this book so much. This is definitely one of my favorites so far in this series, if not my favorite. Um, I am just eating this up so much. I love seeing Moraine and Suan um, at this age. They just became full Aes Sedai. They just got their shawls. They went through the um, trials and it was so interesting to see. Um, I just love seeing them at this stage, right before they became full Aes Sedai. Um, there was a foretelling of the Dragon Reborn. Um, so now the Aes Sedai from the Tower are on basically a hunt to find the Dragon Reborn. He's just become a baby. He's just become born. He's an infant and they're taking down names of all the mothers and their um, children and the location where they were born that was born within like the last like week or something within and they're trying to narrow it down to males baby boys born within I think it was eyesight of Dragon Mount um, and just the excitement in this novel is so refreshing. I am loving everything about this. Um, we've also seen a little bit of Lan. Now this is, Leslie helped 
um, remind me of this. This is land before he becomes a warder. So he's not quite a warder yet. He's not met up with um, Moraine yet. He's on the outskirts and doing everything in his power to avoid the Aes Sedai and Tarvalin. And I'm just loving this book so much. Okay, so I'm up to chapter 25 now in New Spring. I'm nearing the end of this book already. I think I have like two chapters left. I am absolutely loving this. Um, so since I've last checked in, the Moraine thinks that the White Tower wants her to take the throne, the Sun Throne, and she has run away from the White Tower. She's on this hunt now to find the Dragon Reborn on her own, also maybe hunt down some of the Black Ajas that she thinks are there, that they've got these mysterious Aes Sedai deaths that are happening. So we've got that happening. She's now out basically on the run. Um, and she runs into Lan and his crew. And that interaction between Moraine and Lan, their first meeting, had me laughing so much. I absolutely loved it. I can't, I, I just loved it. Um, now Moraine has met back up with Swan, who also has run away, maybe? Um, and they're kind of on the hunt for the Dragon Reborn, but also the Black Aja together. Um, but Maureen doesn't 100% trust why Swan is there. So that's interesting. Um, I can't wait to see where this book ends because it's just been so much fun. A great... Um, breather in the series and I kind of want more books of them at this time I know we don't get it because Robert Jordan is no longer with us um, but I love this so much so just finished New Spring um, and my final rating is a four and a half out of five stars almost five stars like as close as you can get to five stars came out to 8.8 .8, which equals the very very top only one more point um 8.9 is as close as you can get to five stars without it being a five stars so so close to being five stars but i enjoyed this so much i loved it so much um what knocked it down for me was honestly the intrigue which is not a bad thing. Um, didn't have a lot of intrigue. Most of the intrigue for me was what are these characters that we know so well going to do at this age? Um, but, you know, as that's one of the seven different categories that I take into account with my new rating system, that kind of knocks it down a little bit. But when I finished this, I thought it was going to be a five star. Turns out it's just shy a five star but i enjoyed it so much it was a great breather for wheel of time